It's happening. Hello. Woo! And welcome to RVB Zero to 60. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> yo. This is we exciting. Are, we are look, at, look at all these beautiful people here with me. All right. So, so first thing, a big thank you to HBO Max for being the presenting sponsor of Rooster Teeth Animation Festival. Reaching for what to watch next. Introducing the amazing world of HBO Max. At HBO Max, animation isn't just for kids. We've got the goods for grown-ups. But you know that because this is a pretty grown-up show. Red versus blue. Let's talk about it. Let's We've do got it. Some folks here to introduce y'all to. Hello, everyone. Once again, thank you guys for coming out. Uh, you guys have been singing the show's praises, and it's been super crazy. It's been moving really fast. But I am Torian Crawford, the director, showrunner, animator, host, editor. You know the drill by now if you know if you heard of me. But more importantly, <laughs> we got a bunch of new people, including my friend Josh over here. Josh, why don't you introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, hi. I'm Ooh. Josh. Tell yeah, I'm one of the writers, one of the co-directors and editor on this season because Torian is gracious and has let me do this. Uh, thank you, Torian. <laughs> oh, look, we got our little, we got our little, like, like, RVB stuff. Oh, yeah, you I got the helmet. Got you the got, thing. like, a little, got little plushie guy. over there. Hey, hey we're oh. prepared. So, Who's next? Professionals. Who's Who are we going to next? Is it me? Next up, Hannah. It's me. It's Fiona. The one and only. What's good? What's good? Hey, everyone. My name's Fiona Nova, and I'll be playing Agent One in this new season of RVB Zero. Brum, brum, uh, brum. I'm excited. Brum, hey. brum, brum. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, amazing. Oh, oh you that. that <laughs> yeah, I did. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, God. No, this is good. No, this, okay. is this is better. This is better. This is better. I'm, I'm Hannah McCarthy. Um, Hi, wife. I'm her wife, oh, and nice. I will Legally. be playing Faze. Yo, look at that picture. This season, she's too cool for look me. I can't. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. She's too cool. Look at her. Too cool. What did you send the Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? No way. Oh, snap. Oh, no. We run. We run. It's my time. It's my time. It's my time. I'm Noel Wiggins. I get to play Asian Raymond, and I do some hey. other stuff on this show. Burr, burr, burr. Let's do it! Where are you going in that picture? Like, what's the destination? <laughs> he's Raymond. He's also doing some other stuff. So, you know, I'm here and there. Regular Kendrick. I'm Agent oh, Axel. Hey. Yes. Hey. Yes. Hey. Yes. Hey. 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 Golden boy. Yes. Golden boy. Who we got next? Thanks. Ooh. Who's next? Oh, Who's next? Who's well, next? Was the one and only. Yeah. The one and only. 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 I'm Christian. I play uh, Zero. Some would say he's the main character, and by some I mean me. <laughs> oh, this show important. is named after you. <laughs> the title the character. The show is named after you. Yeah, I've been told the show is named after me, so it's a great yeah. honor. Uh, but I play Agent Zero. Cool. Nice. I like it. All right. Hey. Look at the Lord Thirds. Hey. Lord Thirds. Oh, nice. It's on the road. Okay. exciting. This is exciting, mm -hmm. guys. Hey. Great. Oh, what do we do? Oh, Before we get into this panel, let's let's tease let's tease a little something. Oh, oh we're teasing. We're teasing. teasing? Oh. Let's gonna, we're gonna we're gonna check oh. out we're gonna check out this this intro theme. This is my favorite theme. Oh. oh. Hey. Oh. What? Yeah. Hi. Hey. Oh uh, my God. Four oh, grand. Oh, <laughs> I know the word is. <laughs> this is the right. mark by Omega Park. Go listen to that. This is the director commentary. Okay, so there's a little bit of a spice in the room. That's why I get All so right. hype. That's why I get so hype. What? What are we intro hyper than that? Name one. Name there isn't one. Right. No, you're you right. You're, you're spinning that. Well, y'all watching, what's the hype RVB intro? Gauntlet's been thrown. <laughs> yeah, that's what that I thought. No, I'm just, oh, man. No, I'm just that one. But I think we're all a little biased. I think we're also I mean, yeah, all a little biased. A hundred percent. Because what Noel, sure. what Noel's going to talk about here. We're all a little, little biased, a little excited 
about what you well, guys are talking about. Let's do this. Let's talk that? about some merch. Let's talk about some mm -hmm. Red vs. Blue Zero is coming soon. Celebrate the new season with the new Agent One T. Let's, right there, bam, on the screen. Oh, hey. Let's go to Fiona. Let's go to Fiona. Fiona's got it. Oh, there she She's is. She's the corner. There. I got it. I got it. Oh, nice. Bam. Nice. Additionally, we're bringing back some old faves. <laughs> Throw it way back with the Protect Me Comb t shirt. Let's go to right there and let's go to Josh. I can't see Josh, but yeah, he's got the t shirt her. on. <laughs> fan favorites we got the griff pizza oh t-shirt and the griff puma pullover hoodie torian's rocking it right now right know. This. Know it's something. all backwards it's all backwards directly y'all yeah. styling you know uh -huh. you know watch the show hang out with me get these for the 100%. first time at rtx all of these are up now on the rooster teeth store <laughs> what, 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 what is that that's oh, like no, that's like the hype noise that's the hype noise that's the official hype noise anytime oh. you got to get hype that's just what <laughs> <laughs> when you say okay. hype you have to you have to follow oh, it up does it become its own oh, thing that it's not even an air horn it's just it's so far removed from an actual air horn how would you write it out I think it's a burp. Phonetically, can we sound that out? All right, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna talk about all the things we love about this show and each other. There are a lot of things to talk about, but just so everybody knows, if you guys have a Q and A, throw it in the chat. We'll get to what we can. A lot of it we may touch on throughout the course of this. But yeah, we just kind of want to go through here. Here's some of the exciting stories about what it's been like to work on this show. Yeah, so let's let's start it there. You guys want to start us with? Concepts. What what got you excited to get to get this show going in the first place? Ooh, Torian. Um, <laughs> tell us. <laughs> tell us. Everything. Um. So, um. I think like most of us, I've always been a fan of RVB. Like I remember watching this show like in what, high school, post high school, college, under post my high desk. School? I don't know, <laughs> under the high school, over the high school. Um. But anyway, like it's always a show that I've always wanted to be a part of. Um, and especially, you know, watching, uh, it's, it's, the story of the show is very inspiring, right? Guys in a room, bunch of Xboxes making something out of nothing, right? Um, and that's kind of like what we I'm trying to do with this show, right? It's obviously it's not nothing anymore. It's huge. It's like, you know, it's, it's everything, but you know, we kind of wanted to take what, you know, we had and uh you know see if we can put a spin on it see if we can do something new see if we can do something additional we're not trying to replace the legacy the legacy is there everyone's like where is everybody they're still there you guys like they're there there's a there's 17 seasons of them like <laughs> they're there you know we're and trying we to brought... bootstrap bootstrap something new yeah 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 Make it your it, own. exactly it real. um so and that's really really it you know i i feel like my motivation for you like wanting to do this is a little bit more on the uh, simplistic side because I just want to have fun. You know, I, I think when you watch shows like this, you're like, oh man, that's cool. I have I have these ideas for this world and you know, this crazy stuff. I, I wish I can get a chance to express them and now we can. And I brought a lot of my friends and a lot of some super talented people, like everyone on this panel and everyone that's not on the panel, Shout out to the crew, the amazing crew who are at bam, home bam. at their desk, mm -hmm. still mm -hmm. making this happen, you guys. We are at amazing. home <laughs> making an animated show. Wild. No, you yeah. know, with oh, new so technology. Yeah. Yeah. In yeah. bedrooms, and yet again. In like... bedrooms. So instead of like, unfortunately, having to like regress and slow down, we're still going full speed. We're still yeah. pushing new technology. We're still pushing new techniques. And it's just been a blast. Um, I don't know, like Josh, Noah, how do you guys feel? Like when I came to you, it was like, let's do this crazy RVB show. I I you Josh, go you want to go first? Way. Josh, you go first. You go first. I, yeah, oh. I remember the day you came out of the you came out of the meeting where you kind of got like the thumbs up to do this, and you yeah. walked over to my desk and you were like, "Hey, Josh, walk with me." <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Walk with me. <laughs> and we're walking down the hall, and you're like, "How would you like to work on Red versus Blue meets Fast and Furious?" I was like, "Yes, yes, please." Um, of course, <laughs> let's do that now. Yes, Can we do it please. now? That's exactly what happened. When That's I what walked happened. out of the meeting, when I walked out of said <laughs> meeting with one of the RVB people, um, I was like, that was awesome. I was on board, man. It was two people I was looking for. I was like, where's Josh? Ah, oh, he's over there. Okay, let me talk to Josh. And I was like, where's Noel? So I don't know. Been, now, I don't know. now let's go Noel to my story been, real quick. He would have been so, right yeah, there. So here's, you were, so here's you were how, off in the core land. Here, here's how my story was. Torian goes, hey, Noel. And I said, yes, I'll do it. 
And then Tori said, I didn't even tell you the idea yet. And I was like, you ain't got to, fam. I already know what's in your mind. And yes, I'll do it. I'm happy at Hey Noel. And then I said, I don't even know which side is me. I forget. But I said, yo, can I use anime inspirations? And you said, wait, hold up. Don't say your favorite one. And I said, Naruto! And then, and then it was, and that was it. And, that was it. and then I said, and then I said, can we have gun fu? And you said, nah, but I'll leave it at that. Cause I think I won that. I think I won that. Oh, and then, you and won, that was it. You and won that was a lot it. of that. And that was it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like a lot of that did happen. Like, there's gun, <laughs> there's gun Is there flips on flips on flips? There's gun, and there then, are flips on flips. Yeah. So and I'll there's say, some Naruto rivalry in there. So I think ooh. you you got a lot of what you wanted. I won and when I was right. like writing it, and I was like, for the whole the more, the the more I was writing it, I was like, <laughs> oh my god, when I come to work tomorrow, the world's gonna be like, I was ready. I was, on, I was on YouTube looking up the old school AMVs. Then I started listening to the anime theme songs, which are just fantastic. And then before you know it, we were just, we were writing. Even and, that was, was like, and that was the beginning. That was the beginning. Even the when I was like designing, uh, yeah, even when I was like was the designing uh, Hannah's character Faze's abilities, I was like, poor Hokage. God dang it. Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 I can't get away from him. It's got it all. It's got it's, it's got action. It's, it's got love. It's so good. It's got emotion. Woo. It's got it all. Speaking about all. writing these characters and, and creating these characters, we then went through uh, an audition process. It's kind of how we end up with uh, everybody that's here on this panel, except for you know you got, you, you triumvirate there who are the behind the scenes. But uh, but yeah, we, we we put out a casting call to the company, and then you guys had. Uh, we had a really tremendous response, right? We had so many people auditioned for this show. The casting call, vision, the, just people were so excited to be a part of this show. Um, we are all, uh, the fortunate fortunate ones that are here, are also still very excited about the show. But what uh, what was that audition? Reviewing, reviewing those auditions for you guys, what was, what was that like? And, and then we'll talk about how we chose, how you chose who you chose, right? We can take sure. it kind of in any order. What What do you guys What do you guys think about the audition press? Tori, you start with uh, with Fiona. You start with with, <laughs> with Asian one. Let's start with Asian one. I start with Fiona. Numero yeah, yeah. Uno. Number so, one. So real talk, I was like, I want, uh, I, I'm, I I want a black female lead. Like oh, that was like say. that was like a handful of like must haves for me in the show. Mm -hmm. Uh, along with the crazy soundtrack, but anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, and so uh, I reached reached out to Fiona and was like, "Yo, you know, you, you, take that audition." Yeah, do it. <laughs> you, know, just, uh, you, know, you, you know. said, "You said, did you do it? Did you do it? Yeah, did you do it?" And I was did you like, do it? "I mean, I don't mind doing it." Okay, all right, okay. So I, so I did it. You but did I didn't it. expect. I didn't expect to get picked. Because yeah, I, okay. it, it, this is my first VO thing. So I was like, I don't know, you know, there's probably better people there, so. Interesting enough, that's sort of by design though, right? Because right. I wanted, I wanted a kind of like fresh voices, kind of like, yeah. you know, fresh faces and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, uh, you know, the last thing that was in the back of my head when picking people was like, if they've done this before, I didn't care. Right. Like I didn't. I really just like wanted to find. Because like, I feel like people. I feel like, and you know, you tell me, Torian. But like I feel oh. like at the beginning, I was I was noob. I was noob noob. I was like, I'm doing this for the first time. And towards the end of like all of this like VO recording and everything, I just felt like I understood who Agent One was. Like I was Ooh. just like, she's me. Okay. Like I, I, I get you. her. I, I get mean, now, her. now she is. Now she is. <laughs> now she is. But like, I definitely get her, and I feel like I got so much better. If we were to compare like yeah. first takes and and like the last, re like really like the sort of last takes, I, I, I don't know. I just I feel like I did a lot better towards the end, and I feel yeah. like that just goes into the fact practice makes perfect. I would say you know, Fiona, you did amazing up. the whole time. All, okay, all no, day, no. every day, this all day, every day. I mean, it was, it was, I wasn't afraid of. I wasn't afraid of the process. Like I knew yeah. people were gonna get better over time. They right? uh, and they yeah. absolutely yeah. most people 100%. were new, most people were fresh. I was like, hey, I'm gonna pick these people with while keeping in mind it'll get better. Like, don't worry about it. There were some mm -hmm. people that were like, oh, a bunch of new people. And I'm like, hey, 
Easy to people. <laughs> They'll be fine. All right. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> anybody else? How did you feel about the audition yes, process? Let's uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Fresh. I I would say one of my favorites was was Hannah's. Hannah's of was course. the the reason why I say Hannah's was so good is it is it not a dramatization? Why? It happened oh. just like a movie. Like I remember yes. Jeb. Mm -hmm. Jeb was like, "Hey guys, take a listen to this," and we were taking a listen. And we were just like, "Yeah, we can." Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. But then out of nowhere, we were about to make our decision. I remember me and Josh and Tori. We looked at each other. And we we're like, "All right, we got our decision." But then Jeb was like, "But wait, there's more." And then Jeff was like, we have one more. I'm sitting on the floor. He had one on the floor. More. Oh, and, so and I'm then, on the floor like this. On the floor. <laughs> I'm on the floor like this. I'm like, all right, all right, Jeff, play it. Play it. We uh -huh. listen to it, man. Yeah. We, we yeah. listen to it. Uh -huh. And we heard it, and I just remember having this face the whole time. Ooh. And then I got him on the couch, on the couch like this. Ooh. I was like, yo, this is it. This is it. This is the <laughs> and, one. Oh, and God. It was so clear. It was so Don't clear. There was some the excitement. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah, Hannah, how did, what was it like? What was it was, the audition? It was process? absolutely terrifying. Look at that picture. That absolutely picture. terrifying. And also, oh. I don't, I, I remember Jeb reached out to me and asked me if I would be um, willing or interested to audition because I, like Fiona, had, had no experience, had no background, and um, it never, I, I just didn't think of myself as someone who could do that. Um, but I had told myself this year that I was going to try to take on things that scared me. And so when I got that message from Jeb, I was like, I mean, if you really want me to, I will. Um, <laughs> And I, I did, and I remember, uh, I remember at the end of the audition, talk. I came out of the booth and I talked to Torian, and Torian, like the absolute, like just coolest dude that he is. I was like, "Are you sure you don't want like forty eight hours to think about this?" Like he was basically, you guys were offering me the role, and I was like, "You don't want to like take the weekend?" Nah. And Torian was like, <laughs> "I was so, I was so like insulted." Excuse me. You you're said, great. You said the only person here not confident about you is you. And I was like, oh. Well, yeah, we, we was, had made our decision so, at that so moment. Good, like, we were like, yeah. Well, that, that, that's face. Like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And it was, and then, like, the beauty it. of it is in all those sessions, what I was really listening for, I was listening for the characters. And it's going to sound like I wasn't prepared. But I was listening for the characters. I was like, what is this character? Who who are they? What do they sound like? And as you guys talked, and as we sat in that booth, and I was on the floor, I was listening, mm -hmm. and when you <laughs> came in, Hannah, I was like, that is that character. And in my yeah. mind, because like I'm an action director at first, as I heard that voice, I heard slick lines that she's taking down people and doing cool moves and mm -hmm. you know, all the cool, you know, emotional beats. And I was like, man, that is I can hear that voice. So like, yeah, when you came out of the booth, I was really confused. And I was like, Ed, you're the you're the character. Oh, As if God. like you were in my mind right. like experiencing the decision. I was like, what are you talking about? You're your face. Like, I don't know, why are you That's here? Great. Oh. <laughs> and I didn't even know what she was like and at that point. I just was going off of cold reads. And then right. when I found out like what she what like when I started seeing the stuff you were doing with her, I was like, she's way too cool for me. <laughs> like she's way I'm too you, cool. That message was not a lie. I animate her specifically to be and i mo her i always have my hand on my hip to remember she's a girl <laughs> um, and then you know i practice my catwalk these are i'm not making this up i do these things i practice I my it. i practice my catwoman walk and i was all sassy with her moves so when she does like cool nice moves she get the ah, she get the hips she, like, she's she's away. too cool she and i'm and i'm constantly <laughs> thinking like okay yeah. hannah hannah Face, Hannah, face, stab, 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 and That's but terrible. but zero is the one that landed what was it what was it like what were you thinking when you were auditioning for it and then you know callbacks all that stuff what you... yeah uh you know the the open auditions were sent to the the whole company and so i actually auditioned for three characters i auditioned for zero I auditioned for axel and i auditioned for west and i it was funny it was sending the auditions and i was most positive in the or most confident in the axel one i was like ah 
crushed it. Zero. I was like, yeah, that's okay, I guess. And <laughs> I got that. I got that. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll add to that. I'll add to that, Christian. After yeah. you, after you, after you. Sure. Yeah, I was cool. going to say. Uh, I, I would say, I would say the moment, I can't speak for Tori and Josh, but I'd say the moment for me when I knew Christian was our zero was when I, hearing the voice, the first thought that came into my mind was, damn it. That's the voice that the anime gods were supposed to give me in real life. I can't do that. Like I would try to like, I would try to replicate it and I would be like, and the word, no, I was like, I can't. <laughs> wait, how, wait, well, how, how did that go? Wait, 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 you gotta, you gotta do that. To the good, and I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I was like, oh, that's not good to me. Mm, 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 I mm, love mm, when mm, Noel would try to read those lines mm, in the oh, session. And I oh, tried yeah. to do it. I so tried fun. to do it. But then when I heard Christian do it, I was like, damn it, that's too damn good. <laughs> that's it. It's Christian. It's Christian. It's Christian. And, uh, so, I, but, no I have the same reaction to like the, like, we're listening. I'm like, He's like, look, and that's funny. He's like, I crushed this Axel. I was like, ah, <laughs> Axel. <laughs> um, but then he's like, ah, zero. And I'm like, oh, he crushed Ooh. it to zero. Ooh. Yeah, he, he did. crushed that. He killed that. That was great. I felt the conviction. I felt oh, the, 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 the anguish. I felt the emotion. Hmm. The it was anguish. all there. It was all there. Christian, you have it. You got it. You got it. Oh, I was so burning <laughs> this world. To and and, 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 and by the way, I'm, I'm still you. very jealous because, um, you know, for, for me doing a lot of the like temp audio, just as like a placeholder in my head, I was like, all right, Noel, you're about to take a little blow to your self-esteem. Cause when the real voices show up, you're going to feel real crappy about yourself. <laughs> and then every time I would do like zero, I'm not lying for my temp audio. I, I put 150% into yeah, those I temp it. Oh, yeah. I did it. it. I put oh, extra. It. And then even with me putting extra, I still remember hearing yours, and I was just like, bro, I'm just going to quit now. I'm just going <laughs> to stop. Just going to stop. Like, just gonna animating with Noelle's temp I'm audio, and yeah. I'm like, okay, I was like, this is cool. And then I, like, like, I, I hear Christian's find... audio, and I'm like, oh, no. I was like, I need to turn some other hobbies into money. Some... <laughs> I was like, I think I'm pretty good at yo-yoing. I got to do something different. <laughs> this is not my forte. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, like that was that was what it was like for 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 hearing Christian and then mm -hmm. the same thing in the booth we were all just like ooh 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 ooh, ooh you ooh mm -hmm. you ooh ooh me ooh ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah yeah no, and, okay. and then like it was really Noel and Josh were like hey you gotta you gotta you gotta get Christian in the audit you gotta listen to his stuff and I was like cool you know because I'm like all right sweet once again I'm on the floor I'm on the I'm on the floor <laughs> so we the I'm always on the ground I am and I'm like okay this is cool this is cool and he plays the zero voice. And again, I sit up on the couch. Oh. oh. <laughs> that's the test. Oh, that's it. OK. All right. And then immediately after I heard your voice, when we left those like sessions or whatever, I started animating you. Because I, I it was like fresh in my mind. And I'm like, man, what is his mannerisms? Interesting thing, Christian. I mocap a lot of your stuff. Oh, really? I feel like Torian's been doing everyone because I hear all yeah. my right. mocaps, my shit. I yeah. mean, it's just mocaps, mo 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 so, but like, but like, so like, so like, so like, you know, you know, we we showed a we showed a sneak peek, right? And it was a very cool scene, and I mocap that scene. It was me and Noel. Noel was the father. I get to uh, like Tori and mocaps no, all the cool I shit. I get cool. to mocap all the people that get like, beat up. The swag. <laughs> so, Someone's gonna do it. He looked back and at the well. and he did the and he did the shoulder brush. The that was brush, me. Yeah. That was I was oh, I was so in good. there. Who did, this? Who did this? Who did uh, this? See, like, part? That that's Torian. I got that's to do the guy exploding though. I got to do so good. I, that's so cool. I got to do the uh, uh. Yeah, he got he got he got pushed down on the mat a bunch. <laughs> awesome. So we're we're talking about mocap. We're talking about all this fun stuff. RBB comes out of the the machinima tradition, but we've got a lot of different stuff going on mm -hmm. this season. Let's talk a little bit about you got you showed it night stuff that virtual camera. How cool that, that stuff was. Uh, awesome the unreal engine all this stuff let's talk about what you guys have loved about working with the tech on this show and what's been able to give it that really unique look that, that we're all saw love it like i think so i'm just ingrained in like visual effects like i try to keep up you know and i always look at like like our positions at risk of like like man we're in a we're at a production company and let's let's try to use this stuff let's try to like let's, let's try to push let's try to do these things uh, so on the Unreal side, un using Unreal kind of really came out of like a necessity. Uh, so when we got when we got to from Screw Attack to Rooster Teeth, 
uh, there wasn't any room for us on the render farms. Um, so we kind of had to turn to a real-time rendering solution that actually turned out really good. Um, it's something we've been developing over years, again, with a lot of the people that are not on this panel right now, Christina, Dave, you know, Billy, Billy. everyone, mm -hmm. been helping, you know, develop that stuff out. So actually using Unreal Engine is something we've been working on for years. We did uh, Josh, the thing that he wrote, Human Beings. We did yeah. that in Unreal. The two, that was cool. We did a little little pilot that showed up in RTX called Action Bots. We did that in Unreal. Action Death Bots. Battles Action been in, Bots. In Unreal. So we've been picking and prodding at Unreal for a long time. But this is the first time we've used it in like a long form show. Um, so with that, a lot of challenges have come. A lot of like crazy cool stuff is coming out and we're, it's, we're still working on it. But as many of you seen with the trailer and pictures that we've put out, it looks great. It looks good. It looks cool. And um, uh, like me, myself, and a lot of people have been pioneering that. Uh, when it comes to the virtual cam stuff, the virtual camera stuff is interesting because I think uh, around GL time, they we had got that tech, um, but there was just no way for us to use it, right? And someone showed it to me, and I was like, oh, I'll make a, I'll make a note of that. And then when it came to like RVB, and they were like, Tori, what do you want to do? I want to shoot it a certain way. Now, this ties into putting Noel and Josh on the team because those guys have live action shooting experience. So I was like, cool, how do I get them more involved? We'll shoot it like live action um, if we can. Now, obviously, because you know we have to be at home, we can't be in the studio as much as we want, a lot of that has kind of uh, tempered down a little bit, but we, we still use it wherever we can. And so I really want to hear from like Noel and Josh, like, what do you guys like when I set that up and was like, here, here's a camera. And you're like, what? Shoot this. Shoot what? And then I turn the screen and you're in the environment. And you're like, oh, snap. Like, for, I'll say this for me. The most impressive thing for me was and 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 with me having like a director photography experience working with the uh, with with RT core and the amazing RT shorts, um, the the most defining thing for me was carrying that camera and realizing it weighs like a pound yeah, versus yeah. like me carrying like the typical red camera. <laughs> I was like, man, my shoulders don't hurt. My back doesn't hurt. I don't really care how cool this is. My body is really enjoying this right now. <laughs> and I was like, bro, I am sold. So the Victorian's mm -hmm. like, hey, Noel. And I said, yes to the B cam <laughs> situation. I just had to bring it back. Just had to do a quick call back. That's uh, most of our conversations though, real talk. <laughs> I'm like, hey, Noel. But He's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it, 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 it is so cool to like actually, you know, because it, it feels very second nature to be in the scene. And the cool thing is, you know, Tori can just hit like loop and we just kind of walk through the movements and we do a quick like little rehearsal, a little quick blocking. I kind of figure out my movements. And then obviously because... Like you I'm, shot the giant thing, like the... Oh, and, yeah. And some of the yeah, previous so stuff cool. so, and man, the, big, yeah. the big flaming sword guy, yeah. you were there. Like, Which, by the way, was... you 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 asked me to run, and I didn't appreciate that because my cardio is not up to up to my speed yet. So I was like, ah, I'm like, my so like, this, like, like Christian Zero's character and then Hannah's character Phase are moving fast in the environment. I'm like, Noel, you got to keep up. You know, I got, I got, I got, I got the cable. I got the cable behind me. And I'm like, Noel, we're Ooh. in the Mystic Dungeon. You got you got to keep up with them. I got, bad knees. Like, I, I got bad knees. I got bad knees. The temperature is changing. So, it, so, so, like so, it, so it, like, <laughs> but, but, it, but it agitates my kneecaps and stuff like, you know, like when the weather changes, the when the weather changes. Yeah. Right, and, then, right. and then like the giant falls and I'm like, no, when the giant like, falls, you got to shake. Like you got to. Oh, and so for me, I was like, yo, this camera is so light, but why are you making me run right now? I was like, ah, I didn't sign up for this. My lungs. Oh, God. But anyway, I thought that was probably the, the coolest aspect of it, really. And, and again, just, just being able to, to just work on my imperfections. Because it's like, if I do a camera move and I don't really like it too, too well, bro, you could just kind of clean that up. Just yeah. clean it up later. Clean it up later. But, you know, so far, I would say this has been super amazing to, to kind of start from this granddaddy of of machinima this legacy of a show for red versus blue and then just the 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 honor to to be able to introduce that legacy to this this up-to-date cutting edge yeah. technology so i thought it was a really cool like juxtaposition um just to get a little you know a little uh introspective 
uh, in that regard. But I thought that was pretty cool to, you know, finally have these two worlds collide and then explode mm. into I'm a supernova. That is Red versus Blue Zero. I'm going to stop them and go to Josh really quick. I was spitting poetry right here. I was doing poetry. <laughs> he was bearing his heart and soul. Yeah, yeah it was. It was oh. 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 Noel, we love you. We do. Appreciate we it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, the Josh, what are your thoughts? Stuff, it's, it's really, really cool because, yeah, we come from more of a live action background. So it was nice to, like, bridge that gap. But it's so cool because you're so, you have so much more creative freedom. Like all you have to worry about is the camera and where the camera is going to go. You don't have to worry about the like physical limitations of a physical set. You don't have to worry about actors hitting their marks every time. They're going to hit the same mark every time because it's this animation loop. So all you have to do is worry about like, how cool am I going to make this shot? And and what what's the scene need? How does it need to be uh, viewed through the camera? So it's, it's awesome. Like it really, it strips away everything else. So all you have to focus on is that camera work and the camera work is a huge part of this show and its style and the visual storytelling of it. So to, to be able to have that tech on in this show was like, so, so cool. And I just wish we could have used it more. Yeah. yeah. I, I, like I said, yeah. again, like, uh, we're unfortunately not in the office, like for safety and stuff. Uh, so we can't utilize it as much as I have plans. I have mm-hmm. documents, you know, for everything. <laughs> I was going to throw Josh in the ocean. We're going to film this ocean scene. It. The ocean scene got cut. There's no ocean scene. Don't respect that. Not only does it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't look like any RBB that's come before it. It doesn't look like anything that, that we've done before at Rooster mm-hmm. Teeth. Super exciting, for sure. And, awesome. you know, of course, got to pop in right here. Say thanks again to HBO Max for being the presenting sponsor for Rooster Teeth Animation Festival. With edgy, irreverent late night laughs of South Park, Rick and Morty, and Max Originals like Close Enough and Boondocks, not to mention the action packed animated adventures from the DC Universe like Harley Quinn, plus the magical animated storytelling of Studio Ghibli, and the best of anime from Crunchyroll Animation as a New Home on HBO Max. I know we're all here, big fans. Boondocks, there's some other good ones up them. there. I've got Absolutely. Aqua Teen. I love the Boondocks. Close Aqua Enough. Close is close near enough. and dear to my heart. Stupid yeah. reasons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like like a lot of good stuff, right? Anybody ever go back and watch Space Ghost Ghost? Is this a thing? That yes. Anyone... Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> watching it as a... We should watch that. Watching it as an adult is hilarious. As a kid, I didn't understand it. I was right. like, where are the, where yeah, are the right. Power Rangers? This is it's a... like <laughs> dated slash stupid slash yeah. self-aware. And it's very digestible bite-sized chunk. Yeah. Nice. Start streaming nice. to download the app or visit hbomax.com to start your free trial. So nice. you guys talked a little bit about the tech and some of that stuff. A lot of great inspiration goes into this show. Um, some action-packed inspiration, obviously, right? We see a little bit of that in everything that we've shown so far. Episode one, the trailer, the theme, all jam-packed. So what is it? What makes what what when you walked out of that meeting and they were like, "Hey, Tori, you can do this." What were you thinking? What were you? Where'd your Where'd your mind go? What was your What was your inspiration? Um, I um, I was just super appreciative. You know, because like it's such a the show has a crazy legacy, right? Like let's like it's one of the shows that like built the company, right? And I'm like and I'm like, hey, I have this crazy idea. I everything that you guys hear me talk about the show is what I suggested. Like they approved this. <laughs> they agreed to this. <laughs> I know whoever they are who are looking at and they look at the show and they're like, Ooh, I don't know. You approved this. <laughs> you did. <laughs> You did, person. <laughs> Why would that? Um, that's the fun, right? That's, yeah. what, that's what you're going for. That's yeah, what we yeah, want. Yeah. That's what our, that's what everybody sort of wants to see, right? This sort of new direction and and excitement. Mm-hmm. It comes out of something original. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, you guys have your inspiration. We mentioned Fast I think and something Furious to, earlier. I think something to note was when, like, you know, again, like the conception of of all the ideas. Like, Torin came to us with a story. And you know, like it was up to Josh and I and and Ben to also like flesh it out. But I know for me, my my inspiration was just thinking about basically the most favorite time in my life, which was being a kid, Saturday morning, literally grabbing the most sugariest cereal you possibly had, sitting crisscross applesauce in the living room and just just watching stuff. So like that was my vibe was a Saturday morning cartoon, as well as like one of those like super fun popcorn movies that you can yeah. just like sit back, mm-hmm. have a good time. You know, like if your if your little gaming chair has a little thing to kind of let you just drop down a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I'll, I'll oh, kind of get a little out of the way from the mic. That's nice. I'll, I'll kind of come you know, back and then I'll lock it in. 
It's um, true. Like it's it's made to be super light. Like if you watch this, you watch the trailer, you watch something, and you're like, oh, that's cheesy. Yes, it probably. I, I probably welcome. wrote. I probably yeah. wrote cheesy in parentheses <laughs> in the document. Like I like it's it's because I, I look at RVB. I, I I personally feel like RVB has set up like something fun for everyone, right? You watch RVB, you go into the game, and you recreate your favorite scenes, or you create fan art, or you create all these other things. Um, I'm just taking, you know, what I love about RVB, right? Um, it's character, uh, some of the cool action from some of the seasons, and I'm, you know, just building uh, an additional thing for people like me or for new people, for old people, anybody, just like something new for us, like something for us to enjoy and just watch without, you know, it's it's not the Citizen Kane of RVB. <laughs> I, I, I promise you, it's not. But... It does have cool action stuff. It got funny moments. Noel threw up in his helmet. That's gross. That's <laughs> gross. Hey, but it's like, funny. I did it in real life too. I did it in real life. Just just to get in the camera. <laughs> we put a helmet on you in the booth. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. You yeah. Like, just recorded that. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Can we get I'm, also, check? I'm really invested in a lot of the characters and the relationships Ooh. you guys have built for them. I think that's something that I know it's a it's new characters for people, uh, but I think that the relationships you guys have have made in this show for them uh, are really fun and compelling. And I I know we all talk and we all have there's so many things I would say, um, but I also think you guys have done on top of like just unbelievably cool animation like action and and all of the the comedy you guys have in there i think there's also at the root of it like you said the characters are really fun and strong and i really like all of them which speaking, speaking of action to, yeah, oh, yeah go, ahead, go ahead go ahead wait wait what real, quick, real, real, Producer, wait, wait, real quick real quick before you get into the action real quick before you do that i'm gonna cut you off real quick uh on on hannah's note i want to say my thanks and appreciation to everyone on the cast here we got we got we got jeb we got hannah we got christian we got fiona i want to thank you for really putting yourselves into these characters and i'm not gonna lie you have made these characters th this dialogue you've made oh, these for sure. th this world so much better yes. just with mm -hmm. your investment so i want to thank yeah. all of you for bringing your amazing talents yeah. and voices to these characters so thank all you. of you Let's go and to the jen and andre and ryan yes, yes. 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 it's true yeah, jen, yeah. jen tedwell andre jen's Willett. in the we, chat yeah, yeah. I, I think i saw and andre it's, it's yeah. not andre. a lie when i'm like oh man i don't really know what phase is and then hannah starts speaking i'm like that's I know fake. exactly what someone I know exactly get. What someone get her a knife. I see. I see. Someone get, get her. her a knife. Someone get me a knife. Get this woman a knife. Get her a knife. Get this get woman a knife. <laughs> All right. Get this woman. Where is I think my mocap suit? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes. Uh, uh, so we yes. can we can go in that direction. I know we want to. We all want to talk about how good it feels to be on this. But Tori, and you were queuing us up. We got a clip to show off some of that action, right? Oh, what boy. clip? Ooh. This is a surprise. Play the clip. That's all I want to say. I want to see, it. I want to see it. It's that transport. Whatever they brought here for safekeeping <laughs> might be trouble. I'm getting bad vibes about it. Yeah, to make things more weird, I heard it's possibly alien. <laughs> alien? That sounds so dangerous. Okay, Ryan. Come on, on your feet. <laughs> 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 Slam! <laughs> oh no, what am I gonna do? All <laughs> that. Hey, can you not first? <laughs> Stop right there! Always laugh. Hey, That's you! Ryan. Don't Ryan even think about it. Send reinforcements! We need everyone! Wait! Wait! Stuck in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't, don't throw that. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, baby. Come on, man. You can do it. Touch. Oh, 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 is fine. I, what the hell? I, what? I, I knew I should have called in sick. Hit him again! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Lost. Are we going to see oh, my... Oh, man. We're going to need some backup. Oh, lost. <laughs> oh. Are we going to see on, my man. fly? Oh, God. Oh, 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 o
I designed it. your visual effects for her. Oh, Sound designed by Alina Fantastic. Like, so we can teleport. What does me? That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> I'm waiting. That's great. Oh, 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 o
Got lightning round here. A few people asked how many episodes in this season. I think we've I think we've released the the, the information. What do you guys? What? How many episodes are we looking at? Uh, Ocho. Ocho. That's Ocho. eight, right? That's eight, right? Is that eight? Ocho. Eight, eight yes. episodes. Hey, Ocho. They start Ocho. streaming yeah, on yeah. October nineteenth. <laughs> October nineteenth okay. on Rooster Teeth. Yes, they start um, streaming on October nineteenth. The whole the whole thing won't right. be out. It's not a it's not a That's full true. drop, right? Yeah, it's, right. Weekly. it's weekly. Weekly. Yeah. Weekly. Yeah. weekly. weekly. Eight weeks worth of it. Jordan R one seven eight S. Do we need to watch any of the other seasons to understand this one? No. No. Good. Nope. Short and sweet. No. Short. No. You're gonna, You'd appreciate you're it if you watched it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 snap the cup. Please. Um, yeah. Please, please, please watch it on Rooster Teeth Day. Please go watch. You want to watch them, but you don't you have them. You want to watch, watch them. them. They're cool. If you want to learn great. more about, I guess, Carolina and Wash. You'll yeah. have more context. I you think have more context for those two for characters. For things like that, yeah. But, yeah, I, yeah, but yeah. also, you won't be scared to just, yes. you can jump into zero yeah, and you yeah, don't exactly. need to, you know, yes. invest a lot of And that's by design. Like we want to, we want to get more yeah. people into the RVB party, yes. right? Yeah. Party's mm -hmm. been going on for 17 years. Hey, hey, we got another party. Just come oh, on man. over. You didn't have to go fine. to those previous parties. They were fire. <laughs> this one's going to be fire too. They were full fire. This one's going like, to be great. This is good. Yeah. But in. you do have, you do have till October 19th to go to richteeth.com and watch seasons one through 17. Look at that company. Right. Right. Damn. Damn. Do it. They're quick episodes. All right. You know? So then we got it. We got to say that we've got we get those previous parties. We've got we've got a surprise, a special surprise video. Slip in here, running out of time, but we got to watch it. What? Let's see that, let's what see are that these at. surprises? What? What? Hey everyone, this is Gus, also known as Simmons from Red vs. Blue. Just wanted oh. to say uh, how excited I am about RVB Zero and all the work that's going on. I've intentionally tried to avoid as much as I can about it, but we saw a little sneak preview at an internal meeting a couple months ago and. Uh, as soon as I saw it, I immediately slacked Tori and said how excited I was and how awesome everything looks. Uh, I think all the voices I've heard so far, all the acting, I think everything looks like it's coming together so well. Super excited, super hyped. Can't wait to see the final product and experience it with everyone else. And uh, super excited to see uh, the direction that the show's going to go. And, and I'm super glad that there's people who are enthusiastic about it and ready to uh, to take the show in all new to all new heights. Hey, everybody. It's Matt Hollum. Uh, if you don't know me, I'm one of the original cast and crew of Red vs. Blue. Uh, I've actually I've played a lot of parts. I've played a sergeant. I've played a colonel. I've played a doctor. I've played a supervillain, uh, an assassin, sometimes all in the same season. Uh, I even played myself in a video. But one thing I haven't had a chance to do is be a viewer. And so I'm very excited about this season. Uh, get to be a viewer for the first time and, and watch all this craziness unfold. Uh, and I love that it's Torian and everybody doing it. Uh, I've been a big fan of Torian since I first met him up in Dallas at the old Screw Attack offices and saw what an amazingly talented and hardworking guy he is and have been waiting for him uh, to lead his own show and uh, was surprised and, and delighted when he came to us and had a pitch for Red versus Blue to, to take it over that I thought was so succinct and so great and so uh, fresh, but it's still in the spirit of, I think, the best of Red versus Blue. And I'll let him uh, tell you what that pitch is if, if he wants to. Uh, but glad to see him and, you know, the whole his whole gang. Like, uh, it, it's really cool that it's a bunch of friends, I think, getting together to, to work on this because that's how Red versus Blue started. So here's to you guys. And congrats on this new season. Can't wait to see it. And uh, look forward to watching with everybody else on Rooster Teeth. Thanks, guys. That was cool. Two quick things on that. He is right. I've been hinting at the person I talked to this entire panel. It was him. <laughs> it was him. I went to Matt. Thank you. Thank you so like, much, man. I have really these ideas it. for RVB. And he was like, that sounds cool. And then I explained to him like, hey, I just want to get my friends together just like you guys did. And, you know, we kind of really just want to, you know, do the same thing. And he was like, company reasons. But yes, <laughs> yes. yes. You, like, you know, I'm all nice. about this. And then, you know, they let it. Now here we are here with we my are. friends and new Red friends. Red Blue Zero, crew. October 19th. Uh, so I that appreciate crown. that. Yeah. Appreciate that. That was cool. That was a real cool. And then I That's came out so the office cool. and was like, Josh, take a walk. <laughs> <laughs> now, now everyone, yeah. everyone knows it everyone gets to see it Aww. october what was that noel say 19th again? on Got rooster teeth 19th all right i don't know i'm gonna make i'm gonna make someone's life 
hell here. I don't know if we burned our burned our trailer time. I don't think we're gonna get to show this trailer. Oh no! Trailer. Oh. <laughs> but, well, the that's tra- gonna be the end of the panel, right? <laughs> either into the cha- either into the trailer or into something else. Broadcast will decide. Let's see. Show it. It's in your hands, just broadcast. Play it. Just play it. Show Everybody it. say I love you. I love you. I love you. Rivers of Blue Zero. Show it. October 19th. Watch it. Watch it. Bye, guys. Please. October 19th. I'm so sorry, Michael. I'm sorry. You murdered me. Let's go. Rookie. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurt. Suck it, Ned! Fuck it up, Agent One. We got bigger problems. Oh, it's in my ear! The ultimate source of power in the universe. Whoever wields it becomes unstoppable. Uh. I'll exact my revenge, while also burning this world to the ground. It was a tactical takedown. They knew exactly what they were doing. What do you suggest we do? Let's see what I'm working with. First up, West Mm. What's a team of lovable misfits without its father figure. Stand up straight. East? Did you miss me? She's a rebellious and competitive punk with a nifty little power. Axel, golden boy and weapons expert. Are you ready? One. This is how it's done, Grandma. She could be the next leader of Shatter Squad if she can learn to work on a team. You're a butt. And Raymond. Oh, my phone's juicing up. If I could just get it to 30, man, we can head out. Hmm. So I guess we fight monsters now. Are we quitters? Or are we one badass team? I can feel it. The power to change everything! Let's go.